Good day again, class. I'm Ma'am Renz again. So, a science teacher of Bagumbong High School. So, welcome to my class. So, before we start our discussion, let us all bow our heads and enter the presence of our Lord. Dear God, help me spend today with a smile on my face, love in my heart, joy in His grace, and my thinking cup on all day. Amen. Thank you, Lord, again for this day. Okay, now, lahat ng mga sections na hawak ko, so alam na nila yung pattern kung paano tayo magsasubmit. So, please, again, let me remind you na lagi nyong ilalagay yung inyong mga pictures sa ating album. So, hanapin nyo lang sa ating Facebook group ang album name and then doon yung ilagay. So, it's quarter 1, module 4, sound. Pag may tanong, do not hesitate to chat, mention my name, or magtanong sa ating Facebook group para hindi siya natatabunan. So, ito yung palagi nating pattern na ginagamit, no? So, do not forget to write your surname, name, middle initial, your grade and section, kung Einstein kayo, Curie, Becquerel, Archimedes, Hook, yan. So, yung lima section na hawak ko, so, dapat naka-indicate dyan. Now, let's proceed to our topic. We are now at module number 4, Sound Effects. This is our most essential learning competency or MELC. Investigate the effect of temperature to the speed of sound. And for our specific objectives, we have two. Number one, we have to determine the effect of temperature to the speed of sound. Next, compute the speed of sound in air at different temperatures. So later, uh, we will going to use calculators. Pwede din kayo magmano-mano or sa cellphone calculators, pwede din. Now, we'll take the pretest, then we proceed to discussion. So, I'll give you at least 3 to 5 minutes to answer the pretest. Now, let me read to you the question number 1. How does the temperature of the medium affect the speed of sound? A. High temperature increases the speed of sound. Letter B. Hot weather does not affect the speed of sound. Letter C. Cold weather causes the speed of sound to move faster. Letter D. Cold temperature freezes the medium that causes vibration. So, what do you think is the correct answer? Okay, next, number 2. What is the speed of sound in the air at a temperature of 25 degrees Celsius? A. 326 meter per second. B. 331 meter per second. C. 336 meter per second. Or D. 346 meter per second. Number 3. What happens to the speed of sound as the temperature decreases? A. The speed increases. B. Speed becomes velocity. C. The speed decreases. Or D. The temperature has no effect. Let's proceed to question number 4. Which of the following best explain why are concerts held mostly at night? A. Most people work in the morning or afternoon. B. Lights are an essential part of most events. 
it's almost impossible to do in daylight. See, they have to spend the day getting ready for the concert and most people are at work in the day. Letter D, at night, the layers of air near the ground cools faster than the layers up high. The air layer near the ground is a denser, so the sound wave is slower in cold air. And last for number 5, Benguet experienced the coldest morning in 2016 while Tugegarao experienced the highest temperature. During that time, in which province could sound travel faster? A. Benguet B. Tugegarao C. Both A and B D. None of these Now, once you're done answering the pretest, let's now check. Answer for number one pretest is letter A. High temperature increases the speed of sound. For number two, the correct answer is letter D, 346 meter per second. So later, as we go along our discussion, you will understand how we computed that 346 meter per second. Number three, the answer is letter C. The speed decreases as the temperature decreases. For number four, correct answer is letter D. At night, layers of air near the ground cools faster than the layers up high. The air layer near the ground is denser, so the sound wave is lower in cold air. And last number five, the correct answer is letter B to Gegarao. So all of these answers will be discussed today. For the looking back about sound, it says here it, and it is also in your module the science of sound is a transfer of energy so we discussed last time that there are many kinds of energy and sound is one of these sound is also useful in the field of geology oceanography and medical purposes some animals are dependent on sound for movement so, yung mga bats, yung mga whales, dolphins, is most specially at night time, uh, wala nang ilaw sa ilalim ng dagat, ba? So, paano sila nakakakain? So, they depend for sound. And for those in the field of geology, yung mga nag-aaral uh, ng mundo and ng ocean, nalalaman nila yung structure ng earth and ocean because of sound also in medical purposes like ultrasound yan, gamit na gamit natin yan sa ating uh, field of medicine so now what is sound? sound is a form of energy it is carried in the form of waves so in order to produce sound we need vibration so that is the necessary condition to produce sound vibration what is vibration? vibration is the to and from motion of a particle about its main position so there are three pictures below first uh, first is the drum so when we hit the drum membrane, membrane of drum vibrates producing sound so pag uh, tinambol natin yan uugong siya so, yung ugong, yun ang Tagalog ng vibration. Next, when we play a guitar, the string on it makes to and fro motion and produces sound. So, pag nag tayo, pag nag tayo, so yung mga students dyan, 
na magaling magitara, yan. So na produce na kayo ng sound. Next, the tuning fork. Sound produced by vibrating prong of a tuning fork. So pag pihinampas mo yung tuning fork, may kita mo gumagalagulo siya parang ganito. Okay, pencil yung hawak ko pero just imagine it is a tuning fork. And then pag tinapat niyo siya sa ears, ayan maririnig niyo yung ugong. Okay, next. Sound so, sabi natin kanina, um, sound is an energy and a wave. So, what kind of wave? Sound is a longitudinal wave created by vibrating objects and capable of producing a sensation in our auditory system. Auditory system. So, ears yun. Sound is also a mechanical wave. So, nakita naman natin, di ba, yung drum pinapalo-palo natin yung yung guitar pinaplak natin and sinestrum and the tuning fork kinahampas natin so mechanically yun ang ginagawa natin so sound is also a mechanical wave kailangan natin siyang galawin sound requires a medium so yung medium na yun yun yung solid liquid and gas to propagate so para kumalat siya kailangan may solid, may liquid, and gas. Hindi nakaka-travel ang sound sa vacuum. The perfect vacuum is the outer space. So, yung mga Star Wars, iba pag naririnig natin yung may sound effect, yung mga jum jum ayan. For cinematography effects, nilalagyan nila yon. Pero sa totoo nun, hindi siya talaga nilalagyan ng sound kasi wala naman nagta-travel na sound sa outer space. Okay? Pero, syempre, yung special effects nilalagyan dahil bayad yun sa sinihan. Sound is a form of kinetic energy. Kinetic energy. It's an energy in motion. So, sound is a form of kinetic energy that results from the vibration of particles in a medium. So, again, that is solid, liquid, and gas. So, nakita natin, no, kinetic energy. Energy in motion. E, eh, di ba yung sound para... Para marinig natin, kailangan ng pag-ugong, kailangan mong kalabitin, kailangan mong pukpukin. Ayan, so, doon natin mapoproduce ang sound. That's why it's also a form of kinetic energy. Next, sound waves. Ayan, nasabi na natin kanina, sound waves are longitudinal waves that exhibit characteristic features such as, so ito mga features ng sound waves, sound waves frequency, amplitude, wavelength, period and wave speed sound waves have two parts so yung longitudinal waves have two parts it's the compression and rarefaction so pag nagsiksikan sila compression kapag nagspread out sila rarefaction so later makikita nyo yung itsura nun. when we say compression compression which air particles are close together so parang ganyan nagsisiksikan sila and then rarefaction pag nagspread out. Rarefaction which air particles are spread out. Ano itsura nun? So ayan, para siyang spring. Ah, uh, 'di ba nilalaro natin 'yan yung spring na may color. Nabibili natin 'yan sa tabi-tabi bilang isang laruan. So parang ganun din yung itsura niya. So yung compression ganyan yung structure niya, then pag nababatak siya, rarefaction and then mako-compress again. So, a longitudinal wave is a wave that moves parallel to the motion of the particles of the medium. Pag sabing parallel, kung nasan yung, yung paggalaw, susunod siya. So, kung patayo, patayo. Kung patagilid, patagilid. Kung palef, palef din. Kung paright, paright din. Ayun yung ibig sabihin nun. So, from compression to another compression, isang wavelength yun, isang haba. Rarefaction to rarefaction, another wavelength yon, and then you see the color violet broken line at the middle so the, the horizontal one from there papunta dun sa taas that's amplitude okay so now say for example may bell so pag uh, kinalembang natin yan ganyan yung 
structure niya. So, yung mga red, yun yung mga molecules. So, nakikita natin, may pagbatak, then may pagbanggaan, then babatak ulit, then magbabanggaan, then babatak ulit, hanggang makarating ng ating auditory system. So, dyan sa picture, yun yung ear natin. So, when we say compression, ayan, nakita nyo yung two arrows, they are created when push is applied on air. So, pag na-push siya, magsisiksikan sila, compression yun. And then, pag nabatak sila, rarefaction. Rarefaction is created when there is a decrease in density and pressure in a medium such as air. So, yung ating air, layo-layo, di ba? So, less dense siya. So, decrease ang kanyang density. Kaya, itsurang layo-layo. So, that's a rarefaction. So, from uh, rare fraction to another rare fraction, isang wavelength yon. From compression to another compression, one wavelength ulit yon. So, that's how it goes. Now, for a brief introduction, what's the relationship of temperature, energy, vibration, and speed of sound? So, ito lang yon. Temperature, remember, is a condition that affects the speed of sound. It is also a form of kinetic energy. So, energy in motion. So, paano nangyari na yung temperature is a form of kinetic energy? So, say for example, itong dalawang kamay natin, nirab mo. Ayan. Pag, pag finil mo sa face mo, mainit siya, di ba? Ayun. So, yung temperature na binibigay nun is a form of kinetic energy kasi pinagalaw mo siya, gumagalaw siya, nag-turn siya into motion. So, nandun magpo-fall siya under kinetic energy. Ayan. So, you see the arrows going up for the temperature, energy, vibration, and speed of sound. Ano ibig sabihin nun? Temperature becomes higher, that means it's hotter. Molecules gain more energy and it vibrates faster. So, when the molecules vibrate faster, sound waves travel more at a fast speed. So, uminit yung, yung, lalong uminit yung temperature, tumaas siya, ibig sabihin, mas nakakakuha ka ng maraming energy. Pag marami kang energy, lalong gumagalaw ng gumagalaw yung mga molecules. Kaya, yung speed of sound bumibilis din. That's the, the meaning of the arrows going up. How about going down? Temperature becomes lo lower. That means it's cooler. So, malamig. Molecules loses kinetic energy. So, nagbabawa siya ng kinetic energy. Ang mayayari doon sa mga molecules, magtatabi-tabi sila kasi malamig eh. Therefore, they vibrate slower. So, when molecules vibrate slower, the speed of sound decreases. Para mga sudyante lang yan. Pag mainit, tayo ng tayo. Diba? At taas ang energy nila. Kaya gumagalaw sila na mabilis. Pag naman malamig, tulad ngayon, tag-ulan, uh, malamig, di ba? So, lower, cooler. Naglulus sila ng kinetic energy kaya magtatabi-tabi sila. Yan, magdidikit-dikit sila ng upuan, kulang na lang. Yakapin nilang isa't isa kasi malamig. So, nagbabibrate sila slower. So, kung sudyante yung mga yon nagtatabi-tabi sila, bumabagal yung paggalaw nila. So, ayun lang yon in relation to, to the classroom setting.